as a Toyota and Lexus enthusiast, you guys probably like me know we don't get a whole lot of updates for future vehicles. Toyota just said that they're going to be announcing two new hybrids in just a week from now. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, Luxuriously. We have so much news to cover today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming news pieces from me and the Luxurious Fleet. Over at Motor One, Toyota teases unveiling of two new hybrid models on May 18th, likely to be the Venza and Sienna. If you guys haven't seen my video on the 2021 Sienna, make sure to watch that around my face. And that is going to be a hybrid only vehicle. There's also another leak, right? So the dealer meeting uh, leaked from late March or so mentioned that there's going to be two brand new hybrids in the fall of 2020. The Sienna being one of them, and it's an exclusive hybrid only. I talk about that, like I said in my video. The other one is the rumored Venza that's been, that keeps coming up that the Venza is coming back. I would kill for it to be a just a reskinned or rebadged version of the Toyota Harrier, which is just, I guess, updated for the worldwide market. These two all new hybrids are going to be unveiled during a live stream on Monday, May 18th at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Unfortunately, I will be working at that time so I won't be able to make a video during the live stream, but definitely stay tuned because I will have a follow-up video to it. They're thinking that this new Venza would be produced in Alabama. That couldn't be farther from the truth. That Alabama plant is going to be producing a small crossover, uh, tiny little utility vehicle, and it's going to be produced alongside Mazdas. This is going to be, and I, we don't know 100%, but this is my feeling, and that this is going to be produced alongside the Highlander and the Sienna at Toyota in Indiana, and it's going to be based off the TNGA K platform, where that small crossover is probably, probably going to be closer to the TNGA C platform in Alabama. And with the coronavirus, that Alabama plant keeps getting pushed back. It's not finished yet, so it keeps getting pushed back. So this vehicle, according to that dealer leak, is supposed to be arriving in the fall of 2020. So that is not going to be that vehicle that they're saying here in Alabama. It's definitely not going to be that. So they also talk about the Tundra. I've already, that's like me beating a dead horse at this point. I've talked about the hybrid Toyota Tundra for a very long time. And here is the live stream page. I'll put it in the link below for you guys to check out. You can put it in your, your browser or wait for a week for it to of course go live stream. But here it is, nothing special there. We have a big reveal on the horizon live from our North American uh, headquarters. Tune in at 518, 10 a.m. Now you see here, this says Platinum Hybrid. This is definitely a snippet from the new Sienna. That's my take on it, but definitely, definitely a teaser image. Now it says traditional hybrid on here. I'm expecting hopefully eventually and almost guaranteed is going to be eventually a prime variant, a plug-in variant with maybe around 40 miles of range like the RAV4 Prime. Over at Reuters, Toyota sees 80% profit drop as virus wipes 14 billion off of car sales, which is going to be its lowest profit drop in nine years as Japan's biggest automaker grapples with the impact of the novel coronavirus. Toyota just started ramp ramping up production again at all of its North American plants and a lot of its European and worldwide plants as well, just yesterday. So that was May 11th. Even though they're down about $14 billion from uh, the lack of sales, they're still going to eke out a small operating profit of, of 500 billion yen. The coronavirus has dealt us a bigger shock than the 08 global financial crisis. That is from Akio Toyota, the man himself. Even though there's a big drop in sales volume, despite that, we are expecting to remain in the black. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. Everyone's like, oh, you know, Toyota's going to fail with the rest of the legacy automakers because they're just not profitable enough. Like, well separate Toyota from the majority of them. I just saw Mazda is trying to scrap for billions of dollars worth of loans from uh, different Japanese banks and lending institutions. Toyota, not so much. We also heard recently that they're going to cut global sales volumes by a third. So they're, they're definitely scaling back production. Once, once they even get up to running full capacity, they're still not gonna be producing nearly as many vehicles because 
I mean, there's just not the demand. Toyota expects sales to remain weak through December before returning to the 2019 level sometimes next year. Now I've been talking about this for a long time. Toyota officially confirms a GR hot hatch is coming to America. It's not gonna be the GR Yaris, but more than likely uh, the, taking that motor and putting it in the Corolla. GR Corolla will be happening for the 2021 model year, so it could be unveiled soon. It is not gonna be unveiled uh, May 18th, those are gonna be two hybrids. So now we got some more interesting, maybe conflicting information on the next IS um, over from Motor Trend. And of course they're saying there's not gonna be a redesign, it's just gonna be a large, large refresh with the revised the suspension. They also say that the IS 500 is coming back mag x was the original one that posted about the reef major refresh of the is and they said that the v8 could be coming back well motor trend is saying well the is 500 is not going to be v8 they're going to put the twin turbo v6 from the ls 500 in it and i'm okay with either honestly if they put the v8 i think they should call it the isf and you know upgrade it even further to harken back to the original isf if they put this twin turbo v6 in there it makes a lot of sense to call it the is 500 because the ls 500 has the same exact motor setup now it would it use the same 10 speed auto i don't know i would hope so and they're guessing that the standalone virtual online reveal will happen this summer even though it was supposed to be at the New York Auto Show in late August, but that has been rescheduled. So exciting times for sure for the IS, even though we're not getting a redesign, I'm happy that they're doing something to it, unlike the GS that they just killed off. And here's a nice little thing for Europeans. Toyota launches the seven-seater Highlander in Europe. This is no, this is nothing new for us in America. We've had the Highland, Highlander, what seems like forever. Um, but the 2020 redesign is a super, super nice vehicle. And I'm happy that other markets are gonna be getting it. Uh, the Toyota Highlander Hybrid will go on sale in European markets in early 2021. Not just for the European newsroom, it's also gonna be coming to Australia. Australia, you guys get it as the Kluger there. I believe it should be hitting you guys around uh, early 2021 as well, which is crazy that US is actually getting something before other markets are. Interesting, right? I mean, but Toyota does the research, right? So you have the brand new U Lexus UX300e that's not coming to America and they're rolling it out in different markets based off of demand. So they're hitting China, Europe, and then Japan. And then the Highlander on the Toyota side is North America, Europe, Australia. So they do the research they know what they're doing they're still a profitable company despite all hell breaking loose on planet earth but yeah guys if you're not subscribed make sure to do that so you don't miss out on my coverage of the brand new two unveils uh on may 18th and i'll see you guys in the comments on this one i know a lot of news is here and that's a good thing for the channel it's a good thing for our uh, luxurious fleet so i'll catch you guys in the next video until next time thank you so much for watching and peace out